out. Amazing. All righty. Well, welcome everybody to today's webinar. Uh, my name is Courtney. I am the head of growth here at Console. And joining us today, we have Anita and Ben from Forms Live. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. So great to have us here on this wonderful Tuesday. I actually thought it was Wednesday, funny enough. So that's just where our years are treating us so far. <laughs> Today's webinar is here to talk about eight ways your agency can go digital first in 2022. And I think this is a really good time of year to be talking about this. You know, the past couple of years have been quite turbulent for us all. And now we're really ready to, to take a look at the way we're doing things and put our digital foot first, so to speak. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to share my screen here so that we can get started with a couple of slides. All righty. So uh, joining us today, as I mentioned, is Anita and Ben here with Forms Live slash Dynamic Methods. Um, Anita, Ben, would you mind give us a quick introduction uh, into who you guys are? Awesome. I'll start since I'm an A, so Anita Fantastic. goes first. Uh, um, I'm the general manager at Dynamic Methods. I've got an intimate understanding of our business and the products that Dynamic Methods create for the real estate industry. Um, my, my responsibility cover running the business, ensuring the team are working efficiently and as productively as possible, and also uh, doing things like this, imparting knowledge about our products and running training sessions so that uh, people who use our products know and uh, how to get the most out of what they're using on a daily basis. Fantastic. Ben? Thanks, Courtney. Um, I've been in real estate about 25 years. Um, I started at the tender age of 15 answering phones at one of the um, family offices and got the bug, um, <laughs> got my licence and then um, become an estate agent. And the last sort of 10 to 15 years been involved with uh, print, digital uh, data and um, digital solutions. So I think I'm a bit of an all-rounder, I think. Fantastic. Thank you so much for those intros, Anita and Ben. Alrighty, just moving on. So if you could take us through who Dynamic Methods slash Forms Live are and what makes you guys so great? Awesome. Well, uh, you might recognise us uh, from our pieces of software. So you might not name, know, know the name Dynamic Methods, but we uh, have forms platforms around the country uh, known as REI Forms Live, RealWorks uh, and Forms Live in, uh, specifically for Victoria. Uh, we, Dynamic Methods, make real estate agencies more efficient, allowing data to be captured just once and passed on through the next step of the process. Mm -hmm. This integration, this partnership with Consul um, provides your team with the access to the information quickly and easily, whether they're in the office or out on the field. Uh, in English, <laughs> we're in the business of constant and never-ending improvement uh, because we believe that at the core, if, if it can't be improved, we're not trying hard enough. Um, so our software solutions specialise workflow efficiency within real estate and property service industries uh, and empowering more than oh, 600,000 Australian real estate transactions per month, so huge. Yeah, wow. That's fantastic. And just to, I guess, touch on, you know, the partnership that we have together, you know, our partnership is really special to us here at Console Cloud. And really, that's because of, you know, both of the reasons why we exist and, you know, the, the commitment that we have to continuous improvement, mm -hmm. um, you know, taking on customer feedback to improve the product and to, yeah, really streamline uh, the processes um, for agencies all across Australia, um, but particularly in Victoria and, um, you know, just make everyone's lives easier. You know, our lives are hard enough as it is already. So if we can do things that <laughs> saves time, um, I'm, you know, taking away from some of the dot points in our <laughs> webinar um, today, but, um, you know, that, that, that's what's really important to us. And we're just really excited to be, you know, sharing that with everyone today. So welcome everyone. 
Uh, I'm going to dive next into, I guess, just a little intro into Console Cloud. For those who don't know, um, you know, Console really exists uh, to streamline processes and, you know, make property management more manageable. What we've done is we've taken a look at all of the different stages within the life cycle of residential and commercial property management and tried to uh, streamline those processes or, or put them on rails, so to speak, uh, to save time, to improve efficiencies and allow you know, property managers to, to focus on work that really matters uh, rather than, you know, managing the day-to-day. -day. And, you know, the, for, uh, the relationship that we have with uh, Forms Live is a really key piece to that um, as the forms are embedded across all of the workflows and, you know, um, really designed to, to save time and, um, you know, give back in the day in the life of a property manager, which, you know, can be quite a big day, <laughs> big week, big year. So yeah, um, that's a little overview of console cloud. Just to dive into, you know, why we're all here for the webinar today, you know, why are we going to go paperless in 2022? Uh, there's eight key reasons that we've put together as to why that is. And what we're going to do now is dive into some of those reasons. So first things first, and I think this is a really, really important one, and, and that's the reason why it's number one, is you'll save time. Anita, Ben, what's the go with time savings? I might take this one, Ben, to start. Fantastic. <laughs> so uh, hard copy forms and contracts, uh, we, did, we did a workflow analysis and took a look at how many steps, and it can be up to a 27-step process, sometimes more. Uh, tracking down right information, looking up Goodness. details, filling out forms, printing them out, trying to get them signed. This is where I start getting speeding up my speech, you know, getting them sent back. Oh, um, <laughs> we've worked out with a good integration. So console cloud, information held in a CRM, transferring data into forms, which you can send electronically for signature. We've got it down to seven steps, um, which which is amazing, you know, 70% 70, 70 of your time can be saved by using digital forms uh, and our platforms and this connection, this integration. You know, time, is, time is better spent dealing with customer service, dealing with your clients, rather than doing the routine things that we know you have to do. Um, uh, so yes, definitely saving time. Absolutely. I wish that I could cut my day down to seven steps. That would be ideal. <laughs> yeah, as Anita mentioned, you know, that's cutting it down to about a quarter of the time spent in the old fashioned awesome. way. So um, you can focus your time on other things and um, uh, get more work done, as they say. Work smarter, Absolutely. not harder. Yeah, smarter, not harder. That's great ethos to take into 2022. <laughs> So moving on to reason two, and I think this ties in really nicely with the first one, is reducing those errors. What does that look like? <laughs> Few errors. Oh, one of my first jobs, I'm sorry, I'm going to divert slightly. I was <laughs> working in an office and uh, uh, one of the lessons I learned was don't mess up people's names. Uh, and I have to say, my surname's O'Connor, so if I receive an email or I can't enter my apostrophe, if someone's missed the apostrophe in my surname, I start to get twitchy. You know, it, it, it's so, names are so important. So, you know, small mistakes can cause big dramas, traditional yeah. methods, you know. You've got to rewrite the whole form out. You have to, you know, or tip X, do we still use that? <laughs> Write out stuff, initial, et cetera. You know, digital forms and connections means that you can transfer data directly from console cloud straight into forms. How, how, easier, how much easier can we make it? Mm -hmm. um, and, and we know that property managers primarily live in the CRMs. <laughs> that is the, the beast that they need to deal with every single day. You want that information transferring, not relying on someone uh, copying it out. And, you know, it makes, it reduces the risk of errors. Uh, and human errors happen. That's, it's normal. It's normal. Uh, but so the good thing is, yeah. Sorry, yeah, ben. errors may not come from yourself. It might be from a client, a tenant or a vendor where um, you've completed a form, the tenant wants to delay moving in by a week or uh, a vendor wants to delay an auction by a couple of weeks. There's no need to go and fill out the whole form again. Um, you can just duplicate it, change the date, and it's all there for you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, that comes down to that 
customer service element that we were talking about a little earlier. Um, you know, oftentimes it, I get country instead of Courtney in some of the emails or comms that I receive um, from the companies I deal with. And, you know, it takes a little bit of the sparkle out of the experience. And, you know, that's that's really what we're here for is delivering better experiences and, you know, facil being the facilitators to allow agencies to do that. And, you know, if you can take away that, you know, the risk of human error of getting someone's name wrong or having to, you know, go back and forth with any errors on, you know, on the forms that are filled out either, either by the tenant or owner or, you know, by yourself, you know, that, that's a huge time saving as well. And just delivers, I guess, a more streamlined and consistent customer experience, which is the hot topic at the moment, really. Isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? More time spending, spending building those relationships, mm -hmm. uh, less time doing the do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And in such a competitive uh, industry that we all operate in, um, you know, everything that you can do to, to get a leg up on the competition, you know, we'll, we'll take every tool in our tool bag, really. Toolkit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, not the right word. Uh, so moving on to reason number three. And well, I think we can all talk to this one after the past <laughs> couple of years that we've been through is you can work from anywhere. What does that kind of look like? Oh, I think, as you said, Courtney, the last two years, we've learned massive lessons. Um, the ability to work remotely or work wherever you are is vitally important. You know, being from a software firm, you know, we always had that intention. Uh, our staff were coming into the office and we we're going, yeah, yeah, we want people to work remotely, have mm. that option. And then, you know, two years ago, we had to make that choice and, yeah. and move to that. And having cloud-based systems um, and uh, web access was vitally important. We wouldn't have been able to do it without that. And now, you know, people are accessing forms, working at all hours of the day and night. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to be able to be online when you want to be online, whether it's you've forgotten something and... Um, or you need to follow up or check a status of something, you know, on your phone, uh, on, your, on your app, on your iPad, your tablet device, being able to do it from no matter where is, is important. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we live in a mobile first uh, <laughs> society now. So having the ability to respond to requests or, or action particular items on the go is, is really essential. Oh, definitely. And um, being a Victorian, like uh, most people on here today, and the amount of lockdowns that we've had, being able to work from anywhere is just so important. Um, we didn't have an option. <laughs> no, we didn't. Um, and being, being cloud-based, as Anita said, all you need is a web browser, um, either on a Mac or a PC. Um, mm. You don't need any apps and you can access your, your um, work anywhere, anytime. Yeah, Absolutely. And I guess, you know, just to dive into that a little bit more, how does that actually work with Forms Live, you know, accessing from anywhere? Like Ben said, as long as you've got, um, if you've got a, a web browser, you're on. That's yeah. it, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, like uh, the same thing, uh, it doesn't matter what device you are using. Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're using a tablet, if that's your mode of operation when you're at home in a panic doing something no dramas you can hop out your tablet device and work on it um, on on your mobile phone we had a user interface update recently and I can now log into my uh, forms live account and I can see what's still out for signature and check the status of it which is awesome mm. um, I wouldn't recommend filling out a form on your phone uh, it's probably <laughs> a little little small uh, but being able to check, you know, who has signed, who's the outlier, is so important. We are, all of us, aren't we tied to this thing? <laughs> yep. And the beauty about it is you get to see all the previous forms and history that you've created as well. So um, you can be anywhere in, in the state or in the world and you can see what you've done. In the world, by the way, yes, people are in uh, they're not just in Australia doing forms. You know, you may have absolutely. <laughs> yes, we have had a few few of our customers, um, yes. you know, luckily get away and you know work from Fiji and be able to you know <laughs> manage their business externally. And that's what we mean. You can literally work from anywhere, which is the fantastic thing about cloud-based systems. And it's seamless. 
they won't know you're there. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to number four. And I mean, this is, um, you know, the most exciting topic of all is uh, staying compliant. So Anita and Ben, what does compliance look like with Forms Live? Oh, lovely. Thank you. Well, that's it's the cornerstone of what we do at Dynamic Methods and with our forms platforms is mm. compliance and keeping up with legislation. Um, you know, 15 years of dealing with forms around the country and, and legislation updates are vitally important. And I don't need to remind anyone or give anyone PTSD about the 29th of March 2021. Um, big changes, massive changes. Yeah. And not only did... Uh, did property managers need to absorb all of this information about how the rules change for them? But forms did too. Suddenly tenants were are now renters and landlords are residential rental providers and not just terminology, but clauses and information change slightly. Now, forms like we take this very seriously and the ability we had you know, a form that you created on the 28th of March, when you logged in and opened that form on the 29th of March, it was the latest version. Mm. And you don't get that with paper. Um, I have been in several states where they've got stacks of uh, paper printout contracts or agreements, and then a little roll of stickers that they change the clause by sticking the sticker on, on that particular area. Um, that didn't do it for me. You know, working digitally, you want to be at the top of your game and always accurate. It's important. Mm. Just, just given those changes, how do you, how does a customer know that things have been updated? Oh, excellent. Um, well, we work with Colin Biggers and Paisley and they provide us with the changes that we need in all of our forms. Uh, we make those changes and when we make them live, it's literally a click of a button. Uh, so if you had, if you create a brand new form, let's go back to the 29th of March, create a brand new a residential rental agreement, it was it was there. It was all brand new. If you had created one uh, the day before or you've created a template that you use on a daily basis, mm. um, we updated that. So you would go into Forms Live, click to open the form and we'd go, hey, this form needs to be updated. Click a button, done that's as tough as it got literally clicking a button that's great and as, as Anita mentioned legislation changes can be stressful enough yeah. um, like uh, when I saw the rental changes last year I was pulling my hair out and I'm not even a property manager so um, you know uh, you can rest assured that everything's up to date um, and you don't need to worry about um, your forms and you can focus on new uh, obviously um, terms and regulations that are required yeah, absolutely. And I think it comes down to that that peace of mind and that mental load. I think that's something that we've all been talking about over the past year particularly is just how stressful the job is. And if, yep. you know, a console cloud and Forms Live can do things that reduce the stress and take away that mental burden of, of you know, are my phones up to date? Am I compliant? Yep. These kind of issues that, you know, can cost agencies thousands of, do thousands of dollars if, um, you know, you're not in compliance. It's just taken care of and it's just one less thing to worry about so you can focus on your, your customers and delivering a better service. And that's, you know, really why we're here today. Oh, mm. absolutely agree, Courtney. Mm. You know, it's so important because, uh, as you said, as, as someone who in business, you make choices make choices that work together and also cover the bases. Like you said, you know, yeah. if you've got your own legal team updating forms, thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, and, you know, are we a smack on the date? Yes or no? Let us take care of it for you. Um, that's the point. Mm -hmm. And we'll touch on how that actually works in Console Cloud a little bit later, but fantastic to run through. Alrighty, reason number five, and look at that, we're already halfway through, reducing turnaround times. Now, this is a big one. The back and forth can be maddening. So, Anita and Ben, what does that actually look like? Oh, it's awesome. Like you said, we're in consult, in Forms Live, we've got <laughs> sign on screen, we've got DocuSign built in in Forms Live for Victoria. So, mm. um, it's already there for you. 
And, you know, you can edit and resend signing requests, but electronic signing, the turnaround time is massive. As we said earlier, we're living on this, our yeah. mobile phones, the ability to sign, um, it just makes sense. Electronic, customers are expecting you to be able to send things for electronic signature. Uh, we did an analysis of, of our turnaround times and we found that for residential rental agreements, over 95% of them are being signed within 24 hours. Now, I can't even get to the post office and back yeah. <laughs> and get it returned in that uh, turnaround time. Yeah. Um, and uh, on top of that, sales agency agreements. Now, we, we all know that the property market is hot, hot, hot at the moment. Um, sales agency agreements, when they're sent for digital signature, we're getting them back within six hours. Six hours. Um, That's phenomenal. And, oh, and, you know, whilst I've got a printer, um, you know, you don't want to rely on people having to print, scan, et cetera. You know, mm-hmm. having an electronic signature just makes sense and it does speed up time, speed it oh, up for absolutely. you. Absolutely. As you mentioned, Annette, uh, customers expect the ability for electronic signing. I know I do yeah. um, mm. with other things. You know, if someone sends me something in the mail or an email where that I've got to go and print off and I've got to sign it myself and then scan it back and so on, um, I just it's just so time consuming. And as you said, um, if the printer at home's got ink in it, or I've got to go to Office Works, and it just it could end up being a two or three day process. Oh, absolutely! And you know, if something goes wrong on that printed piece of paper, that just comes back to that turnaround time again. You know, going back and forth, you know, reducing errors and saving on printer costs. I don't remember last time I've used a printer and I don't think, you know, many customers are, are looking for printed goods anymore or printed forms. Uh, Digital is just the way to go. We all expect it. It's just time. How many people have still got a fax machine? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you've got to avoid it. So definitely digital mm. signatures. <laughs> All right, so number six, and this is a big one and, uh, you know, a key component to the the benefits of console cloud particularly is just that that access to, yeah, all the all the historical access embedded um, within our systems. You know, I guess gone are the days are having everything printed out and catalogued and stored in the back room to gather dust to make sure that you're compliant for auditors. It's all in one system. Definitely. And, you know, uh, Console Cloud have tracking, and I think we're going to show it a bit later, uh, Courtney, in Forms Live, we've got Mm -hmm. tracking as well. You know, being able to keep on top of, you know, what's draft, what's final, what's been sent out for signature, what's yet to be signed. You know, I think that's the most important one. Mm -hmm. We've just recently done an update and it shows not only it's been signed by Ben as an example, but Anita hasn't signed it yet. So I know that I can easily spot that and <laughs> ring up Anita and get, just mm. sign it, all right? Um, and being able to see when it was created, when it was finalised, all of this information, it, it takes it, like you said, reduces having filing cabinets of little notes and post-it notes saying sent to, etc. Um, having it in one system and knowing have you opened someone... my email <laughs> hey that's a good one isn't it <laughs> this is a great feature for both sales and property management but i suppose oh, property absolutely management, property management sends several forms out in a day and to keep track of them who signed this who's opened this you know, it's just clear there who you, who you need to follow up and who you need to focus on yeah um and uh, as you touched on before about um, who's actually got your email, you follow up. Oh, I didn't get the email. Um, well, there's an easy button there to just click resend and they've yeah. got it. Yeah. And I, I think it comes down to that, you know, piece around managing by exception. Um, you know, you really only have to take care of the things that fall out of the happy pathway. Um, and that just, you know, comes down to that time savings as well, which is fantastic. Yeah. Groovy. All righty. Moving on to reason number seven, and this is a big one, particularly putting my marketing hat on here, is keeping your branding on point. Oh, absolutely. Branding has got to be top of mind. Yeah. Um, you know, 
when you log into Forms Live, when you create an account, we give you the ability to upload your logo. You know, your logo and your agency name appear on all forms you create. Great. You know, that's a good start. That's a nice to have. You know, it goes further. When you send an email from Forms Live, uh, people who are opening that email go to a website. It's got your branding there again, your name, your logo. Uh, and it goes beyond that too. You know, we've got templates where you can add in your own specific clauses. You know, mm. we cover legislation, as we said earlier. We cover all the, the dotting of the I's and the crossing of the T's. But every agency has a different voice. They like to add, and, and our experience is they have their own clauses. They might want to add um, uh, a flyer which says, you know, here's your, here's your PM team, your property management team of, of Courtney, Ben and Anita. You can add this to a template. You can create mm. templates in Forms Live. Have this added to the template so every single time you create a form from that template, that's there. Consistency. And mm. that's what branding's about. It's that consistent messaging, that consistent brand um, going out there and being imprinted. Yeah. You've got that ability. It makes sense to do it as many places as possible. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, so they're able to obviously keep their branding in place and any procedures as well. Um, mm. Some offices do things differently. Um, some franchise groups require different things. Um, and you're able to add um, PDFs or documents that um, are required. And you can save it as a template. So you don't need to be doing it each and every time. Mm. Um, once you've done it once, just click on that and it's all there ready to go. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, and, and that's something that's available, um, not just in Forms Live, but also in Console Cloud as well. And just to, you know, I guess, touch on that, you know, my background is marketing. I've been doing this for uh, a little over a decade now. And uh, the, the biggest thing that's happening in marketing is really the customer experience. That's mm -hmm. top of mind for, for most business owners, uh, as well as marketers as well, is trying to understand, you know, how do we create a consistent voice, a consistent message um, that we can track and improve upon to deliver better experiences? The, the market is incredibly, um, you know, competitive, uh, oh. particularly in the property management space. And, you know, every little thing that we can do to, to be better than our competitors and to retain our customers and to attract new ones, uh, branding really comes down to that is, you know, how do you share your story consistently, um, you know, and put your agency on rails so that no matter who's picking it up, you've got your procedures all there in place in your templates. And you've also got your, your personal voice as well um, to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward every single time. And, and I think that's really important here. Yeah. Okay. That's perfect, Courtney. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, when are we done? Look at that. Reason number eight, uh, getting access to integrations. To cap us off, Anita, Ben, what does this look like? Oh, integrations. You know, products you use um, in your agency, always check what can connect. Uh, as I said earlier, you live in console cloud, what is connected? Um, one of the things that we've got in Forms Live as well, and I know that you've got it in console cloud, is utility providers. That's a simple one. Um, you know, having that, checking that box of that consistency that Courtney was talking about earlier. You know, if you've got a utility provider, a relationship with a utility provider, make sure it's connected in console cloud. Make sure it's connected in Forms Live. Because then those messages from utility providers are consistently being sent out. Um, it's so much better than stapling that, uh, that piece of paper on the back of a form and hoping that uh, your client's going to see that and acknowledge it. Um, so check out the integrations. You know, we've also got integrations such as um, Secure Exchange, uh, utility providers, as we mentioned, CRMs like Console Cloud. We, we are continuing to expand because you want to live in one product and keep pushing out from there. It makes sense. It makes sense. Absolutely. And it's just a click of a button like most things in Forms Live. So it's quite easy. And um, as Anita said, just keeping that consistency rather than the old, I'll staple this pamphlet to this and hand it out. <laughs> and 
Yeah. Yep. And there's no read receipts on a pamphlet. No. <laughs> True. And you know, uh, you know, going back to the voice um, of an agency, it, it starts to set up that consistency being set up. And if you change a relationship, all right, so if you change a relationship with a utility provider, you make those changes in your programs as well. You know, it's a simple switch. It's not a, you don't have to rely on someone's memory to do it. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the point. All of this is about having consistency across an agency that you're all speaking the same way. You're all presenting the same front <clears throat> and using those same words, those same clauses, because I think, um, once you've done that, you can put that side of your business out of your mind and focus on customer relations because mm. that's that's where you can make that difference. Um, yeah, select the right products, forget about that, and then just deal with what you need to deal with. Absolutely. I saw a review come through recently for Console Cloud and the, the tagline that was used or the, or the, the caption um, on the review was, you know, making property management more manageable. And that I think that really just encapsulates the heart of what we're all about here is we really just want to make everyone's lives easier and mm. you know, get back to what really matters um, is, is those relationships and having that suite of integrations in that ecosystem, that's mm. really important here. And just, I guess, to touch on that, mm. what's up next with Forms Live? Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> we've been working, uh, we've been, I'm always excited. Uh, we've been working on a new feature and we're going to be releasing it soon where you'll have the ability to send out a form and we call it an info request. You'll be able to send out a form directly from Forms Live and ask your client to complete the details. Mm. Like, have they got... Um, property insurance? Have they got landlord's insurance? Uh, their selected bank accounts? Have they got uh, certain things that they want to advise you? Being able to send that out, and that's this is the first step. Um, get them to fill out their details instead of you spending time on the phone filling it out uh, for them. Once you get it back, you'll be able to review and then uh, send it for signature if needed or transfer the data to another form. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I know Ben's had lots That's of exciting. queries for it. We want people, yeah. <laughs> people go, Ben, we want this. Yeah, I think everyone on the call is going. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah I do uh, get a lot of that in, in the marketplace that um, that uh, it is a feature that um, is required and that's why we've looked into it and developed it. Yeah, I think that's the great thing about, um, you know, Forms Live, Dynamic Methods is just the 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 way that you guys build the system and uh, are continually improving it based on what you're hearing uh, from your customers. And I think that's really key for all of us here, you know, console cloud, everybody on this call as well, um, you know, listening to feedback and improving uh, and that commitment to continually improving. No one's perfect, but we're all working towards a brighter future here. And I think that's really what it's all about. Absolutely. Speaking of that brighter future, um, we're going to dive in just quickly into what that looks like in Console Cloud. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to cover off uh, with you, Ben, just on a special offer. We'll cap on it before we uh, end the webinar today. But um, Ben, could you touch on what the special offer is? Well, I'm glad you asked, Courtney. And um, once we complete here, the lines will be open, as they say. So <laughs> Um, or shoot me an email to, to have a discussion about your requirements and so on, um, and happy to tailor anything or um, go through a full demo of Forms Live if you had any further questions after today's webinar. So my details are there, my number and email address. Brilliant. We will also send this all in an email to you all uh, after this webinar. So you've got all the details, all the recordings, everything you need to make sure that, um, you know, if you're interested in learning more about Forms Live or Console Cloud, all the info is in one special spot. And uh, just to touch base on, you know, how this actually looks like in Console Cloud, because it's really great that we're talking about it, but, you know, what does it look like? Um, I'm just going to show a couple of examples in terms of how our integration uh, works together in one simple system. So um, to start off with, uh, just to show all the various forms that we've got available, I'm just going to go to our properties page and just select a property here. Now, by doing that, I'm just going to move this over. 
Now, by doing that, you can just then go in and add a new form and you can see all of the various forms available to you in this list and they will automatically be updated if any legislation changes come through. Yes, absolutely. So you can also attach this to your templates, which can be customized as this is a little uh, trial environment here. Things are a little bit basic, um, hence the base template. You can give your uh, templates or you can give your forms all custom names. So I'm just going to call this one test and then you can hit create. And what that's going to do is that will open it up in a new tab but it will also save against the property as well. So you've got all the various forms um, that are attached against a property all stored in one place, which is really exciting. How this actually works in the workflows, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a squeeze at the lease renewals workflow here. And what you can see, um, just at a glance, um, we've got a few uh, different reports up here, but just scrolling down in terms of um, everyone that's up for renewal, I've got a a tenant here that's got to uh, renew their lease. And what I can do here is I can create my form. Now, there's already one that's been attached, but let's just say I wanted to change that. Um, what you can do is you can select from all the, all the forms that are available, and then you can hit create. And what that'll do is that will open it up in a brand new tab. And the fantastic thing in here is, all the key information is already embedded within the form, saving you time, reducing those errors. Look at us go, practicing what we preach. <laughs> uh, and that's just you know, another, great, another great way um, that we're committing to improving um, the experiences of our property managers as well as their tenants and landlords, um, just making it easier streamlining everything. And how do you actually activate this? That's a great question. So glad I asked Courtney. Um, what you can go down into your marketplace, you can scroll down into the form section here and click on forms live. And there's a big long token key that you'll need to enter in. Uh, but if you're not sure where to go find that, we've got a handy little guide here just on this little button here. And in three easy steps, you can integrate your forms live and console cloud um, subscriptions together to have those forms embedded across your workflows, across the way that you work, um, to save you time, reduce those errors, and to tie into all of the reasons that we've talked about here today uh, to go digital in 2022, which is really exciting. All righty, I'm just stopping sharing now, but uh, what I wanted to do is just Thank everybody for attending today. Thank Anita, thank Ben. Thank you guys so much for being here and talking through eight ways that we can go digital in 2022. Now, if anybody does have any questions um, or they would like to find out more, uh, what I'm going to do is we'll send out an email after this uh, webinar is over and uh, with all of Ben's contact details as well as ours at Console Cloud. Um, and you can get in touch and we can take it from there. Thank you, Courtney, and thank you, Console Cloud. We love this relationship and uh, excited to help everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, well, Ben. thank you, everybody, for their time here today. Oh, sorry, Ben, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, that's right. So thanks for having us, and thank you to everyone that attended. Absolutely. All right. Well, everyone have a fantastic rest of their week, and uh, we'll see you online, digital. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. See you later, everyone. Bye.